Sponsored by Route 66 Solar. 5.10 on this Tuesday morning, or as sometimes we like to say, two cup Tuesday. Two Mark. cup Tuesday. Two cups of water today. I was going to say, do you have your second cup of water in? Or? I'm on uh, about a cup and a half of water already. Mm. Okay. I like That's to good. hydrate before the show because okay. we just don't have the time sometimes to get that <laughs> hydration in. And you really are going to need to stay hydrated. If you're going to, like, you know, Cards baseball game today, it's going to be brutal out there, Nick. I don't want to. If I, if I got there... <laughs> And my seat was in the sun. I think I would leave. Go oh, yeah. ahead. Yeah, it's dangerous. It's to be outside. Oh, certainly no. dangerous. Uh, if you're outside for an extended period of time, and you're doing something strenuous, obviously we have a lot of construction workers out here. Days like today, it is not going to be a uh, safe situation. Once you start sweating, there's really no way for your body to keep itself cool. An excessive heat wa uh, warning now. Serious. They've upgraded the watch to a warning. That means they're anticipating over 105 degrees with the heat index for more than a three hour time frame. Basically, from about noon to 7 p.m. is when this will be the strongest and we will be above 105. So make sure you are again taking all those precautions. We talked about a heat advisory for counties just south of I 72, but it's not a much relief. You're talking maybe 104 to 103 instead of the 105 that we have here. And you can still see this swath of heat stretching from Texas all the way to Chicago. Chicago right now is 80 tied for the hottest spot on the entire US map with Miami. That is the heat we're talking about here. All of this heat being driven in from the south and west high pressure doing that for us. St. Louis right now with the feels like temperature 84 degrees waking up at right now 512 on your Tuesday morning. Brutally hot. We're actually one degree cooler in Springfield, two degrees cooler in Champaign, but that is not going to hold for very long. It will be a good three, maybe four degrees warmer than yesterday. And I think the future cast feels like temperatures here. Unfortunately, very accurate for us as we get into the afternoon. So 110 is certainly possible with that kind of heat index here. You can see uh, most of central Illinois is at or above 105 by four o'clock here. Hanging out uh, outside, not a good idea today. Be in the AC as much as you can here. We could see some storms as early as nine, maybe 10 o'clock this evening. <laughs> that, excuse me, could start to bring in some of that cooler air here for you. Not going to be a ton of relief from the humidity, but at least better after today with that uh, cloud cover maybe sticking around. Pop up storm chances for Wednesday. You can see we're closer to 100 degrees, not even necessarily a heat advisory uh, at that point. So that's the good news for us. We'll be in the upper 90s with the heat index Thursday morning. Still hot and muggy, about the same temperature for Thursday here, but again, less cloud cover. Uh, Thursday is probably our next hottest day. You can see here on the rain chance chart by the time we get to Tuesday evening chance for that spike in storms. This is going to go up and down a lot today. It's the models are really having a tough time just kind of reading what the uh, rain chances are anywhere from a 20 to 40% chance of storms. This is our last weather alert day for heat mid to upper 90s the actual temperature heat index 10 to 15 degrees warmer than that number. We finally cooled down a little bit more on Friday. The problem now storm chances for Friday afternoon. So we're going to keep an eye on that as we get closer to the football kickoff and then we are much cooler for the start of next week. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.